welcome to my empty house tour. I'm so happy that you're here. Did you see my mat? That's the first thing. We hope you like German Shepherds because Kiba and Hazel are here. Come on down. So, I'm so excited. This is our new home. Um, there's a lot of echo because we don't have any furniture in here yet, so excuse that. And we've been here for like four or five days, so we have a little bit of things everywhere, so like don't, don't mind all of that. Um, but welcome, I'm excited to show you the new house. Um, as I mentioned before, we did downsize from the previous house, so if you guys have been watching, you guys know that. And this is a single story, but I'll talk as we go on so you guys know what we're doing and all that, all that jazz. So, first, you're gonna walk in, and it's a pretty open floor plan, so we'll start, we'll start this way. So right when you walk in this way, this is where we have our guest bathroom and guest bedroom. So, this is the bathroom. Just, you know, obviously bathroom here. So, shower, tub, and a toilet that you can do your stuff on. And the lighting in this house is so much better than my last house, which is like, <laughs> we're really grateful for that. Um, but yeah, nothing more to that. So, we have two bathrooms in this house, and this is one of them for the guests. And this way, we have our guest bedroom. But we're gonna put all of the stuff in the last house, that's what we kept in here. Um, and it's nice because it faces the mountains in this room. And they have a pretty good sized closet. This is the guest bedroom closet, which I feel like it's bigger than our closet, Preston. No. It's not. I feel like it is. But it's a good sized closet, so we're probably going to use this just because I said we downsized and I don't know where my clothes are going to go. We have our cloak closet. Cloak closet? Cloak. I know, I did say that out. And now we enter the kitchen living room area my dogs are back there chewing on some sticks so they don't distract me during this time but i'm so happy i'm sorry the echo <laughs> i'm so happy about my kitchen we have a beautiful kitchen island we have our what is this i, I can't that. believe i think um this is going to be you know the water filter for the water um and i'm so excited this is going to be my coffee station my fridge I'm so excited about. I did start vlogging in this house before I did the house tour so if you see the next few vlogs where like I'm getting my fridge and stuff just pretend like it's not here right now. Oh you're not gonna do your thing that I, you do. I mean I've already done it so many times. Should I do it? Knock knock. So wow. <laughs> does that every single time. Okay so pantry I'm so excited because I've never had like a pretty much a walk-in pantry like it's it's double the size of our other one nothing's organized yet I'm gonna do a whole I'm gonna do a video for everything like my pantry my bathroom my kitchen all the fun stuff but um I just got some stuff in here so everything is in here for now but I'm really excited about this pantry I'm gonna like make it so nice make it my dream pantry I'm so excited about it and there's a light in here which is really nice as well something that I'm so beyond ecstatic for is this oven because you guys know I love love my air fryer but this oven has an air fryer in there and i haven't used it yet so i have no clue how this is supposed to work but look it has like this little rim in there so i don't know how that works if you guys have an oven with an air fryer system situation let me know how you use it and if it works very well or if i should just keep you know stick with my normal air fryer situation machine on the countertop so that's pretty much it for the kitchen locking in this way what do we have? Um, a linen closet. Trust me, I'm gonna use so because like we got like I said, we don't have a lot of space since we downside. I'm utilizing everything, so I'm gonna be using everything. I'm so excited. Everything will be organized for as long as it will be organized. <laughs> um, we have our laundry room here, so it is empty. We're getting our washer dryer tomorrow, so it'll get put in here, and then I don't know what I'll do. Um. We want, we want to do something, like I want some shelvings and stuff in here and some signs and I just want to make it look, look cute. Look at our attic. It's your attic. I don't think they need to see that. That's where the, the sinister demon is. Ew, this is scary. It's scary stuff. Oh, right here. Um, so this is the second bedroom. Second guest bedroom. Second guest bedroom, yeah. 
Um, there's obviously not much in here other than Preston's video gaming <laughs> essentials. Um, so this is gonna be our second guest bedroom slash game room. Like, I'm gonna put board games in here slash Preston's man cave. Whatever. Uh, not. <laughs> All right, back to the kitchen. This is the living room area. You can see my new giant 75 inch flat screen that I'm so excited about. I uh, haven't watched it much yet because it just literally got installed last night. Um, but I want to just say something. So with the previous house, our biggest complaint was like the layout. We didn't really like the layout. Um, and this house is really nice because although it's like open and stuff, there's still designated places for things like the kitchen, living room, and then we have open to the dining room. This is the dining room. We'll obviously be putting, you know, a table, a rug, decor. We want to do like an accent wall here, but I'm not sure if that's happening, but that's the goal. Um, and I'm excited just to have a specific area for my dining table, whereas the last house it was like one square. It was like all in one. Um, but yeah, that's what, that's what this is. And then here is the last room. This is our master bedroom. Master bedroom. Where all the magic happens, all right? All the magic happens, right? So, obviously this is our situation. We don't have a bed set or anything yet. Um, so we're sleeping on this air mattress. But, um... It's, it's nice, it's definitely smaller from the other house, but I personally don't really care. I, I'm i in my bedroom really to sleep. Other than that, I love hanging out in the kitchen and the living room, those two are more important to me. This is our bathroom, so you guys know, I told you guys, I'm really sad that this house doesn't have a bathtub. So it does have a bathtub and the guest bath, you know, like the shower tub comment, so I can still, so I can still take baths. But um, we do have a sh just a shower in here, and it's actually really, really nice because I'm able to like sit down on those stools. I normally like I'm not able to. Well, I've never been able to do that. I guess you could sit down and shave. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But that's what I'm thinking. Like when I when I sit down and shave, it's just like a lot easier than mm. standing. So you know, we got that. We got the his and hers um, thing, my jigger jiggers. We'll see how long that lasts. What do you mean? Because I take over everything? Yes. <laughs> um, I really like that this house bathroom has these. We didn't have that, so it's really nice because I can put a lot here in the middle and then shove everything at the bottom. And then this is our lovely, uh, what is it called? Water closet? Yeah. Water closet, yes. It's a water closet. And I'm going to decorate this too. Like, I'm going to put shelves and stuff in here. It's going to be so cute. I'm so excited. You're going to put the shelves in there? I mean, you're going to put them in there. Okay. <laughs> Um, and this is our closet, so it's pretty small from the last house, so I don't know, I don't know how we're going to do this, because I have boxes of clothes coming in, in the storage, in the moving truck, and I don't know what's going to go down, but, um, at least behind the door, it has this little sectional area, so we'll figure out what we do. I don't know, we're going to have to add something, but, but I don't know what we're going to do. I, or I'm just gonna have to donate most of my clothes, which I already did, but I don't know how I still have so much left. But yeah, this is the closet. And now my my friends are gonna go outside. This is the backyard. Obviously, there's not much yard. It's all it's all dirt right now um, because this house is a new build, and this is how new constructions come. They come with a dirt lot like this. But we are getting it done. We're gonna get some some turf in here for the dogs and stuff like that. The best thing about this yard is that it is way bigger than our last house. So, I don't know if you guys can remember what the last house yard looked like to be honest, but so bigger, wait, look at them. You see? It's so much bigger. <laughs> it's so nice. And then for a workout every day, all I have to do is Run up and down this hill. <laughs> but yeah, let's get back in the house and I'm gonna share a few more things. <laughs> what? What I showed you guys now, 
I can't wait to show you when this house is finished and furnished because we're actually doing some remodeling in here. So for the kitchen, we are changing out the countertops. We're keeping the cabinets, the light gray cabinets, um, and we're doing the countertops on the house in here and the two bathrooms. And then we're also gonna be redoing the floors in here. So although the floors are nice, it's just we had the exact same flooring in our old house, just in a beige color. And the way this builder worked to build this house, we didn't get to choose anything. They were just like, this is how the house is being built. This is what the options are. And we're like, okay, cool. So I already knew when we bought, when we were gonna buy the house that I was gonna change this out. And for the floors, we're going to overlay it with a laminate wood flooring instead of taking all the floors out. Um, Cause I don't, it's like a lot cheaper and it'll make the house look so different. So I'm so excited to show you guys when the house is completely finished furnished it's gonna be everything um it's just funny because sometimes i'm like i'm so used to two stories and i'm like where the heck are there stairs there's no stairs in here but it's also nice i'm gonna have to go up and down any stairs oh i have my i have an alexa now let me see my alexa but she's like not hooked up properly because we changed the wi-fi well, let's see hey alexa sorry i'm having trouble connecting to okay computer. she's having trouble connecting but we're gonna connect her later she is so smart she can do a whole lot of things ask you know you ask her any questions um this is definitely the most smart house home i've ever had so i'm excited to see how that goes it totally reminds me of disney channel original movie smart house somebody wants to come see my house Okay. Ugh. Here you go. Oh, it's my uh, coffee syrup for my coffee station. Ooh, great. More sticky syrup. More <laughs> sticky syrups. I forgot I didn't show you the garage. Not that it's that. It's not that interesting. It's just a two-story garage. A two-story garage. Adding more to this, I think we're gonna be adding shelving. Right. Preston wants to add like shelves up there. Again, just for space-wise, we have a lot of things that we can utilize. The epoxy. All that. Oh, we're epoxying, that's true. We're gonna epoxy this flooring. So it's gonna look really nice as well, just to keep it from all the dirt and stuff. Um, and protect it, yeah. But yeah, we're really enjoying it, loving it, excited to make it our home. Um, it's been nice the last few days waking up and being like, oh my gosh, like this is it. We're waking up in our new home. It's been really nice. The dogs have been enjoying it. They love the backyard and how big it is. And we were like, throw toys for them. So it's really nice for them as well. And yeah, I'm really, really excited. The thing is, I'm trying to get this house together and decorate for what it is as a home. But then fall and Christmas and the holidays are coming up. So I'm also trying to decorate for like all of that. So I don't know how much we'll get, get done because a lot of stuff's happening in the next month regarding remodeling stuff and um what else is happening furniture oh, yeah the furniture is coming in the backyard is getting done so i think the home will be fully completed at least by the end of october like for sure i think everything will be done so i'll still be able to decorate for stuff like that but i've already started so i can't help that i went to bath and body to get my fall candles it's already begun i'm ready for the holidays but it's all exciting, exciting things, and I can't wait to make more memories in here for the future. So, thank you guys for coming. Come on, guys. It's time for you to go. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming over, MTV Cribs, and checking out my crib. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys have any ideas for the house, let me know. Um, but yeah, I love you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed my house tour. I'll see you later.